the stack class. And we've got a couple of decisions we need to make and a couple of issues. Let's just kind of break down the basic structure. We need to work out what the member variable is in the stack class. And obviously we're going to have to code the push and the pop methods inside here. The push, as we said right at the beginning, I've thrown away my notes, that's not very helpful. The push is to um, basically um, add um, a node and the pop is to remove and we'll discuss that logic and the what what the push and the pop actually signify in terms of the logic of them but the member variable here so let's um, go to our development environment let's go to our stack field um, stack files let's create new java class and let's just add a stack class so the question is for us what's the member variable going to be my personal recommendation, and uh, you can do this in a number of different ways, um, depending on how you're thinking about the stack. And I'm going to encourage you to think in uh, varied ways about it. But as you know, as my original um, table image gave, there was my first one, there's my second one, and say there's my third one. Pushing, and when you push, you're adding one in, and popping, you're removing one off that one there is always the top that's a crucial one and that one there is always the first to be added right when it's empty the stack is empty that would be the first one you add then you would add up add more wherever you end up the one right at the top is if you like the top so we have a couple of questions here of what we're going to have um, and why you would want to have it are you going to put a stack node first and then from the first um, sorry that should be lowercase it's just a member variable are you then going to build going to build upwards as the diagram as one version of it works so you there's your first then you link upwards um, until you arrive at the most recent one or are you going to create a stack node top um, and what would be the various advantages, disadvantages of how you approach each one? Um, let's use the word node and let's use the word node just to emphasize. So which one is it going to be? And um, perhaps you want to have both of them. So we come to a really interesting fun issue inside the logic of coding. By deliberately not giving you the solution to this particular question, by you thinking about it, the ideal way of learning in this setting is to try alternatives. And the principle of you trying the alternatives, whether you have both of them, whether you only have that one, you don't have that, or whether you um, don't have a top, but you have that and link upwards, or whether you have both, so on. What you've got to do in your coding is think through the nature of a stack. Remember the methods are push and pop. And they're always related to this item at the top. Now there are several ways of approaching this. And I can tell you that when I coded um, the version that I have, my initial one, when I was thinking it through how I would teach it and discuss it with you, I changed my views as I went along and looked at the implications and so I learnt things about what the difference is between these two and the only way of getting you to do it is to think it through and come up with a solution. So let's now focus in the next about what the nature of the algorithm is related to pushing and popping and the fact that there's an item here and it's the only one we really interact with and there's our stack. Okay.